Dido both discerns and hears rumours of the imminent Trojan departure, and becomes enraged and frenzied. Rumour is personified, in an echo of an earlier description, when Virgil tells us that the rumour of the couple's affair spreads around Carthage. In this short section, we study Virgil's description of Dido's behaviour and demeanour. She is compared to a worshipper of Bacchus, Dionysus in Greek. But the queen, who can deceive a lover, detected his trickery, and first caught news of the impending movements, fearful even when all was safe. The same wicked rumour brought to her in her fury that they are arming the fleet and making ready for sailing. Helpless in mind she rages and aflame she raves through the whole city like some thyad startled by the shaken emblems when she has heard the bacchic cry the biennial revels fire her and nocturnal cithiron summons her with the din at last she addresses aeneas spontaneously with these words <laughs> 